When Jolie Norgard got the phone call her breast cancer was more advanced than doctors initially suspected, she broke down. She walked out her front door, down the street, and into Wellspring Birmingham Gilgan House in Oakville. I was crying and I was in between my hiccups and my sobs. Um, the lovely lady, the receptionist, like did not even bat an eyelash. She went and she actually had me meet with a program manager who took me into her office and she was just so patient and so welcoming, so kind. I don't think I stopped crying the entire time I was here. She proceeded to give me a tour of the entire area, took me through the kitchen, offered me coffee and a cookie. <laughs> Jolene signed up for counseling and enrolled in the Money Matters program, helping her sort out finances during her cancer treatment. In addition to navigating this journey for herself, she had to share her diagnosis with her eight-year-old son, Justin. And as soon as I said the C word, and you know, nothing can prepare you for seeing that look in your child's eyes. Um, I just saw the look of shock and devastation. Months later, Justin's teacher shared that he had written he was sad and needed help in his school journal. Such a wake-up call to us that he really needed, outside of us, he really needed um, a space, somewhere safe, um, that he could talk about what was going on through his head. It's a lot of times what I hear from kids, it's often the first thing that they'll say to me is nobody else in my class or nobody else in my life parent has cancer. That can feel really isolating for a child. So it's important for kids to sit with other kids and say things like, yeah, my mom had chemo or my dad had treatment um, and to understand, have that level of understanding and to normalize that cancer experience. So Jolene returned to Wellspring, this time with Justin to attend the children and parents program. To help already stressed parents, it all starts with a healthy supper. We provide a free dinner so parents don't have to think about it before a program. It's also a great opportunity to families come together in our kitchen and normalize the cancer experience. It's such a nice kind of icebreaker this way, you know, over a home cooked meal um, to meet the other families and their children. Jolene and Justin then separated into their own groups. On his first visit, Justin received Cupcake the Bear, who now wears all the badges he earned through each session of the program. It's really important in the family program is to give children the skills and the tools that they need to understand a diagnosis. So a big part of what we do in our parent-child program is we use things like therapeutic play, crafts, games to understand and to help kids know that, you know, when you're feeling sad or nervous or anxious after a parent's been diagnosed, here's some of the things that we can do. It's about putting tools in the toolbox, giving parents more tools, giving kids more tools so they have a better understanding to help live better with cancer. Yeah. It definitely made me feel a lot better because I felt kind of alone at first. So I could definitely, it definitely helped me express my feelings. I think it's important because if you kind of keep it in, it kind of like makes you really stressed. And I, honest, I don't really like being stressed that much. I don't think anybody does. The relief and the joy that I saw in Justin after each um, session, you know, whether it's because, oh, he got a cupcake, got another pin. Um, we, you know, did this really neat exercise. We got playtime. From the kids' side of things, like, I understand cancer better. Kids often will first step into Wellspring and actually not even understand what that word means. They've heard it at school, maybe um, they've heard somebody in their life, but nobody's actually sat down and explained, like, what does cancer mean? What does that word mean? What impact does it have? So kids will say to me, like, I actually understand what it means now. It's made me feel better now that I've learned more. I also have learned that it can't, it's not contagious, so that makes me feel better. Also, I hear a lot from kids is, I just don't feel alone in my journey, right? I get to see and be with other kids that understand, who get it, who have been there, who have walked this journey. If you need support, you can find the more than 50 programs Wellspring offers at wellspring.ca. It's a safe space where people can come. It's, it's a non-medical environment that's open to anybody who's impacted by cancer. For Halton News, I'm Nikki Wesley.